Multiple hoop embroidery is a special feature in the Singer Futura software that will allow you to embroider a design layout that is larger than a single embroidery hoop. The multiple hoop feature splits the design elements in up to four different parts and then sews them precisely, matching one section to the other. The multiple hoop feature uses a system where three alignment points are input onto cross lines that have been marked onto the fabric. When these points are input, they inform the machine exactly how the fabric is positioned into the hoop, telling the machine where to sew the design in relation to the cross lines. To show how this works, we will create this design layout. In the Singer Futura software, select Tools from the horizontal toolbar. Select Hoop, and then select Multiple. A single hoop appears on the screen marked with a number one in the upper left corner. To demonstrate multiple hooping, we will use a floral design from the Futura Design Library and add text. As the design is built, additional hoops will appear on the computer screen as the design parts flow out of the first hoop section. Let's begin with the floral portion of the design. From the main menu, click on Create, Design Library, then Futura Special. Scroll through the designs to design number 23. Double click to select the design. Then right click and click Apply. This design is going to be resized and rotated to go crossways in the hoop. To do this, go to Design, Change Size, then click on Percent. Now type in 55, rotate to the right, type in 90 degrees, and click OK. We need to add a duplicate design that mirrors the first to create our borders. To do this, click and drag around the entire design to highlight it, right click, and then click Copy. Move the selected design a little closer to the vertical line in the hoop, then right click and click Apply. To paste the copy of the design, right-click, then click Paste. Flip the design by right-clicking, click on Flip, then Flip Horizontal. Let's reposition the design by selecting it then move it into position within the frame on the screen. Make a copy of this newly combined design for the bottom border. Right click, then click Copy. Right click again, then click Apply. Scroll down, then right-click, and paste. Move the border down below the frame. To mirror this, right-click, flip, and flip vertical. Right-click, then click on Apply. Notice how the design now flows into a four-hoop area. Now add some text. Go to Create and Lettering. Place the cursor in the text box. Type in the text and select Justify Center. Move the text box into position on the screen between the two borders. Right-click, then click on Stitch It. In order to avoid unnecessary design splitting, 
Design elements may be moved around in the frame so that they don't lay over the cross lines. Now prepare your fabric for embroidery. It is extremely important when doing multiple hoop embroidery to have the fabric stable so that the cross lines will not shift or distort during hooping. You can use either a fusible stabilizer or stabilizer with a temporary adhesive spray, whichever is appropriate for the type of fabric you are using. With a very fine tip fabric marking tool and ruler, draw a line horizontally across the center of the fabric. Then draw a vertical line across the center of the fabric. In order for multiple hoop to work properly, the vertical and horizontal lines must be at precise right angles to one another. These cross lines will be used as references for hooping the fabric. The cross lines represent the center of the overall design area. There are two types of markings on the inner hoop. One type of marking, symbolized by long straight lines, defines the center of the hoop both vertically and horizontally. For multiple hooping, the second type of marking, symbolized by short lines that are near the hoop corners, defines the sewing area. These marks are referred to as guidelines. Guidelines are to be set on the horizontal and vertical cross lines on the fabric. The first section to be embroidered is hoop number one, also called data one. Notice the position of the cross lines for this section on the computer screen. Set the fabric and stabilizer into the hoop, aligning cross lines of data one within the guideline markings on the hoop. Attach the hooped fabric to the embroidery arm of the machine. Now you are ready to send the design data to the machine. The design data is sent to the machine for sewing one section at a time. To send the first section, click on Transmit to Futura Machine. The gray area, hoop area number one, is the first embroidery data that is sent to the machine for stitching. The screen now prompts you to input the first of three alignment points. These points will inform the machine exactly where the cross lines are positioned in the hoop. It is important that the points are accurately input on the cross lines. The lights on the control panel of the machine will guide you as you prepare to input data to the machine. Notice the configuration of the lights. They represent the cross lines on the fabric for data one. The blinking light is for the first point to be input, point A. Use the shift buttons on the machine to move the hoop until the needle comes to point A on the cross line, then push the OK button. Once point A is entered, your computer screen and the control panel on the machine will prompt you to enter in points B and C. When all three points are input, click on Send Design in the Machine Navigator dialog box to send the design portion of Data 1 to the machine. Embroider the design section. After all colors of the design from Hoop 1 have been embroidered, the screen will prompt you to enter the information for Data Area 2. Rehoop the fabric for Data 2 the machine display will show the cross line positions in the hoop for data 2 and the input point A blinking. Input the A, B, and C points.
Send the Data to Design to the machine. Embroider the Data to Design. Follow the same procedure for Data 3 and Data 4.